So I last colored my hair on March 10th which is a few days before we all went into quarantine and as you can see my roots have grown out and you can also see some pesky grays and whites in there. Let's get rid of all of this shall we? You're going to need your desired color, a mixing bowl, an application brush and a tail. Empty the contents of the color tube and the developer bottle into your mixing bowl. Mix both these things together with your application brush till you obtain a paste-like consistency. Wait a minute though. Now we're all set. You want to grab your tail comb and section your hair into four parts. Create a center parting all the way to the back of your neck. Then untangle your hair for easier and more hassle-free color application. Sections in the front part of your head start from the crown of your hair and go to the back of each ear, like so. Simply use a bunch of hair clips to keep each section in place. I'm going to start the application for my middle part. Make sure that you saturate the hair properly with the color. Now use the tail end of your application brush or your tail comb to create a small vertical section and apply the color to both sides of it. Continue creating small vertical sections and applying color to both sides of each section. Now that I'm done with this side of the front half, I'm going to move on to the other half of the front using the same technique as I did before. Now that I'm done with the front two sections, I'm going to go over all the edges on the front just to make sure that I didn't miss a spot. Definitely didn't miss a spot on my face. For the two back sections, you're going to have to ask someone in the house who you're quarantined with to come help you out. In my case, it was my mommy. Thank you, mama. For the back sections, you can make small horizontal subsections and place the color on the top and bottom of each subsection. You can start at the top or the bottom. The reason that I'm not applying the hair color to the entire length of my hair is because my aim was to touch up my roots and go a little darker than I had in March. If your aim is to color the entire length of your hair, then the only thing that you'll need to change up is that you'll have to apply the color to the entire length of your hair. The sectioning will remain exactly the same. Depending on the length of your hair, you may need more than one box. For shoulder length hair, usually one box will do. But if your hair is longer than shoulder length, you'll probably need to get two or more boxes. I'm back. 
Now that I've touched up all of my roots, I'm going to use the remaining color to go a little further down the shaft of my hair so that the color on the roots blends in seamlessly with the color on the rest of my hair. quickly go grab lunch while I wait for this color to set in. Time to rinse off this color. Don't forget to use the conditioner provided in the box. And there you have it. Shiny new hair. I'm absolutely loving this darker hair color. It's closer to my natural hair color actually. And as you can see, no grays. Yay! And my hair feels super soft, no tangles whatsoever, and look at how shiny it looks. Absolutely love it. For this color application, I used a whole tube of L'Oreal Excellence Creme number 4.3 and a quarter of a tube of L'Oreal Excellence Creme number 3 which I had left over from a previous application. I hope that this video showed you that you can easily color your hair by yourself while you're stuck at home. This was my first ever self application by the way. And that too on camera. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Bye!